हेलो गाइस होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड हाउ टू चैनल वाज ऑफ फॉर अ वाइल वेर वी थॉट ऑफ गेटिंग बैक अगेन विद दिस न्यू एंड्रॉयड अपडेट इन मार्केट सो आई क्विकली वॉक यू थ्रू द टेन बेस्ट फीचर्स ऑफ एंड्रॉयड सेवन डॉट ओ दैट इज एंड्रॉयड नॉगट फर्स्ट क्विक आर मल्टी टास्किंग यू कैन नाउ डबल टैप द रिसेंट ऐप्स बटन टू क्विकली स्विच बिटवीन टू ऑफ योर मोस्ट रिसेंट ऐप्स सो आई हैड यूट्यूब एंड सेटिंग स्क्रीन योर सो आई कैन जस्ट double tap this button to switch between these two apps second is split screen samsung phones and apple os users have long had access to using apps in split screen mode with nogit google is officially adding support for multi window to all android devices running android 7.0 now to activate this multi window mode user just has to long press on the recent apps button to give you an example If I am on YouTube and I long press the recent apps button, the YouTube app moves to the top part of the screen, whereas the other recent apps, most recent apps, they are shown as a list item here. I can go and tap on any of them to get the split screen mode on. So I can have two of my apps running at the same time on my screen. In case of tablet, the screen would be divided into left and right part with the currently active app. moving to the left part of the screen and the other recent apps list shown to the right part where we can select one of them third is know the source of your applications android nogit will now keep track of where an app was installed from open settings menu go to apps select any application move to the extreme bottom and see the source app installed from google play store whereas if the app is not installed from play store like this the corresponding message would be displayed like app installed from package installer fourth is notification importance setting we can now set the importance level of an app's notification to fit your specific use of that particular app including allowing an app to ignore your dnd settings with a long press on the notification you can view the current importance level tap on more settings where you can turn off the default automatic setting or you can also override the dnd settings to adjust the interruption levels fifth is data saver are you guys tired of paying for data overages here's the solution When using Android Nougat device, you can enable Data Saver to restrict specific apps from using data in the background. Tap on Settings, go to Data Usage, and then tap on Data Saver. Under the Data Usage menu, you can go through a list of apps which are already installed on your device, and you can then enable background data usage for each one you want. otherwise apps will only gain access to your cellular data when you are actively using it sixth is quicker quick settings menu when swiping the top of the screen with one finger you will see a row of quick setting shortcuts just above any pending notifications tap on an icon to enable disable features such as the wifi data connection dnd mode battery percentage the auto rotation of the screen this basically displays first five items from your quick settings so if you reorder your quick settings the change will appear here seventh is easier settings app navigation when navigating through the settings app user can quickly hop through various section using the hamburger menu which is given at the top of the screen or you can just pull it from the left edge the settings are broken down into same categories as the main list but using the slide out menu eliminates the need to tap the back button and again select the new menu item which you want to access it is clear all button so guys google added this clear all button to the recent app list only it's a bit hidden instead of placing it at the bottom of your screen when viewing your recent apps you need to scroll up and to the top right corner you see this clear all text just tap on it and all your apps will be closed out ninth one is about call blocking google has now added a call blocking feature directly to the call log screen you can long press on the call item 
and you get the option to block a number from here. Tenth one is about the lock screen wallpaper. Samsung users are already aware of this feature as it was long available in its device. By this we can keep our active screen and lock screen wallpapers differently. Now I am going to select my wallpaper. I select any image. I click on set wallpaper. I get a prompt to select the wallpaper for my home screen or for the lock screen. Or I can keep the same wallpaper for both my home and lock screen. The way it used to work in the previous Android version. So guys, apart from the 10 features listed above, there are many others introduced as part of Android Nougat. I just tried to cover the main ones to give you just in short span of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to ask questions in comment section below and do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.